shops. We're friends of tea cats. Yes, we are indeed. My name is Esmeralda. And my name is Louise. Fantastic. And today we're going to show you how to do two Halloween activities, craft activities. I am going to show you how to make these wonderful little loo roll friends like this back here. So cute. And I'm going to be showing you how to make these scary masks out of paper plates. Ingenious stuff. First of all, we need to set the table. I've got an idea. Alakazam! Yes! Oh! I told you I've still got it. Wow. There's magic amazing. in me yet. So, now that we've got our table ready, we can make one of our new old friends. So, what we're going to do first is this lovely little bat. He can sit just on the floor or on a table like that, or you can attach some string and have him flying around, which is rather nice too, and you can make lots. As you can see, there's lots of different variations, but we're going to go for the bat first. It's a classic, classic Halloween move. You can have them all hanging so from the ceiling, couldn't you? Just like bats. Yes, just like bats. Maybe a bit less smelly though, which is always, <laughs> always a positive thing. So as you can see, I've got some paint brushes here and some clean water for cleaning them. Be nice to have a nice, this one's a good size, sort of medium to large. You don't want to be here doing this for ages. So we've got a loo roll tube, good to have a spare as well, some black paint, some googly eyes, yeah. uh, some black card and some string and some sellotape. Scissors of course, Scissors, yes. yeah. You may also need a pen, some newspaper or paper that you don't mind getting dirty to lay down because we don't want to get our nice tablecloths or anything messy, do we now? So, start out just a loo roll tube but it's going to become a bat very shortly so we're going to get our black paint get it on there not too thick because obviously we want it to dry not too long and we're just going to cover our loo roll in black paint nice little thin layer there oh that's very neat yeah <gasps> louise do you have any um that's interesting it. halloween facts or jokes just to you know, just found my book of uh, witchery and spells, actually. Or is it yours, Esmeralda's? I... Oh, we share everything. I don't know. We share everything, don't we? So let me just have a look in there. I'll find some really good ones. Oh, Barry. He can fly away now, might, I think. If yeah, keeps, Barry might just fly away. He keeps flopping around. Ooh. They wow. might be quite fun to play with, with your brothers and sisters, or, or what about scaring your parents? Oh. That would be a really good thing, wouldn't it? To scare your parents with a bat. You could put one up at night time in the bathroom. Shh, don't tell them <laughs> I said that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put Barry the bat. Barry the bat's gonna fly off. Gonna fly him off, there we go. Right, let's have a look at some jokes. Hmm. I'm almost this done here. And once this is done, what you want to do just you know it's nice to have a nice even coat of the paint so just look over and see if there's any bits that you can still see a bit of new roll oh yeah i can see that there very nice okay here's a joke right you ready i'm ready are you ready are you ready okay yeah they said yes um it's not bat related but it is bird related and birds also fly so okay that's similar i see all right what do birds say on halloween I don't know, what do birds say on Halloween? Trick or tweet! <laughs> oh, I get it. Tweet, 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 tweet. Exactly. Wonderful. Um, well, I'm sure you've got a lot more of those up your sleeve. Yeah. Now that I have painted this and I'm happy with the, the, the overall coverage, I'm going to pop that in there so that it doesn't get too dirty. And then we have to wait for it to dry. It takes such a long time, so you just have to sit and watch. I mean, I wish there was another way, but... I could give you a joke. You could give me a joke. I'll give you a joke quickly. What do mummies listen to on Halloween? Um, Pop. Rap music. Rap music. Rap music. Oh, I get it, because the, it's all wrapped around. That joke seemed to go on for a long time, and yet this still doesn't look dry. What are we going to do? I could, I could draw it the same way I magically dry my hair, 
That's a good idea. I have no idea how she does it. Okay, it's it's this is real magic. Let so me just have a look at the wand for you. Hold on, here we go. Wow, your wand's looking different. It is, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very powerful, this one. Maybe you have one of these ones at home, and you can have a go at doing some of your own magic. Just in case you didn't hear that, Louise said maybe you have one of these ones at home, or maybe your mom, or your dad, mm -hmm. or someone, maybe or your brother, one. or your sister, or your gran. So that's almost dry, and just while it's finishing off, I'm going to prepare the wings. Do you have some cards for me, Louise? <gasps> yes. <laughs> so, we are going to fold this lovely piece of card in half and we're going to get our pen and we're going to draw one bat wing from the edge here. So, I'm going to start on this side here and draw the bat wing going out to there. We'll do a nice close up so you can see exactly what I mean. Right. Now that we've drawn the bat wing, we're going to cut it out. But because it's folded over, you're going to end up with not one bat wing, but two. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. Yeah, so it's magic. Really. Esmeralda's not cutting the line where the fold is, the fold you leave, and then that's how it opens out. Like a birthday card. Yeah. Or like a Halloween card. My favourite kind. Okay, I'm going to give you another joke while you're carefully cutting that out. Okay, this one better be good. All right. I'll turn you into a frog. Oh no! Okay, right. Let me find. Let me find a good one in my book. Um, how about this one? What happens when a ghost gets lost in the fog? Uh, it screams all night. He is missed. He's missed. Oh, <laughs> missed. Miss like I fog, like what fog is I made from. Hope you're writing these down. This is a good, <laughs> these are good Halloween jokes right here. Yeah. So, I have successfully cut out my bat wings. You see how when I opened it up, it's unfolded like that. We've got two sides. We're just going to get rid of this. Save it for another craft activity. There's plenty of card left there. Mm -hmm. Now, and just check. This is completely dry now, thankfully. But before we do this, we are going to fold down the top on both sides so that it makes two points like that. So he's got lovely ears now, which are going to match his pointy bat wings. So now we're going to add some glue to the back of the bat or the wing. Now, if you don't have glue, you can obviously use double sided sticky tape, cello tape, you might have a prit stick or you know some different kinds of glue. Uh, because it's not too heavy, most things should work, maybe even some blue tack. Um, so you know just see what you've got. We've got some glue so we're gonna do that. Now that we have lovely bat with some lovely pointy ears there and some matching pointing bat wings. What else is he going, what else is he or she going to need? You might need some eyes. Some eyes, yes, very important. Although you were just telling me earlier on today about bats, weren't you? Yeah, I was. So it's really interesting because because bats are flying around at night time, they actually use their ears to see. Wow. That's, that's crazy, isn't it? And how do they do it? It's because they make little noises. And then when they echo back to them, they can hear how far away the object is. So they, so they sort of get a picture of where things are because of sending out these, these little sounds. It's amazing. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Well, I still think that our little bat would like some eyes. So what I've done there is I have some stick-on googly eyes, but you could use some card and draw them out and cut them out and stick them on with glue. Mm -hmm. um, this is just what we had here. So, we've got a bat, they've got ears, 
wings, eyes. So, I mean, he, he or she is looking absolutely lovely there. Obviously, we've got Barry the bat, so maybe Mathilda, Mathilda the bat. Whoa, here he Whoa. comes! Here he comes! Woo. I think they're going to be great friends. Woo. Yeah, so it's fun, isn't it, having it on the string, because you can really play with it. So let's put them together. Just there. Land him they down. look lovely. So maybe I should show you guys how to add a little bit of string so that they can both hang up, not just the builder watching Barry and being a little bit sad that, that she can't fly as well. Mm. She's got these wings, let's let's get her to use them, shall we? Yeah. So what we're going to do is cut off a, a piece of string. Uh, don't worry too much about the length of it. I think about as long as your arm is is a good yeah it's a good length what i suppose because then it's not going to drag along the floor yeah but if you cut it too short or too long you can always add some in later so don't worry too much so get a little bit of sellotape ready and put it on the top corner of the table or if you have an assistant maybe they can get you some ready now i don't think the builder's gonna mind but we just we just opened up where her ears are there on one side on the back we're gonna get a little bit of string and then place it inside here if Barry's wanting to get involved place it inside there get your sellotape lower that in as well tape it on and now you fold down the ears again and as you can see, the builder's now flying! Whoa! Wonderful! The builder and Barry! Yay! Take to the air! Woo! Fantastic! Now, there's loads of creative ways that you can create different characters and friends doing it. So obviously you can make a bat like we've just done. We've had a go at making a cat, a mummified cat, you could make tea cats. What else have we done before? A mummy. A devil. A devil with the, with the horns. horns. So the best thing to do is just to get creative and see all the different things you can make. Well, you can make up your own monster, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. You can make something completely from scratch. So I'm just going to put those to one side, put our little friends to one side, and I'm going to show you how to make a mummy. Now this one, is nice and easy and lots of fun because it's quite messy but just again make sure that you've got something nice some newspaper or some paper that you don't mind getting messy underneath you're going to get another loo roll tube and you're just going to put lines of glue sporadically just dotted around the tube now for the mummy, you're going to need some loo roll, some glue, some string, and obviously the loo roll tube. So we're going to take a bit of the a bit of the loo roll, and we're just going to attach it on. Now the great thing about doing the mummy is that mummies themselves they look a little bit messy so it's fine so just wrap it round doesn't need to be perfect but as you're going up you just want to make sure that you leave a little space a little space to put on some eyes that's the only thing you've got to remember to do just fold it round fold it round fold it round when you get to the top just tuck the top just tuck the top into there and as you can see, we're halfway there already. So, what we're going to do now is add in some eyes. Now, as we said before, you can do this with some googly stick on eyes, some googly eyes that you stick on. You could make your own eyes from paper and card and pens. We've got some stick on eyes. And this best witch has just given her mummy some eyes, which I'm happy about. Yeah. Isn't that one about uh, a good joke about mummies and holidays mm. or something? Oh yeah, here's one. I found it. Why don't mummies take vacations? 
I don't know. Why don't mummies take vacations? They're afraid to relax and unwind. Oh gosh. <laughs> I've seen a mummy unwind before, it's not a good look, it's, it's, it's quite scary. Just like before, even though most mummies don't fly, but this mummy we can make fly if we want. I'm going to add some string with some sellotape. Because why not? Why not? Let's have a bit of tape on first. A little experiment. Where's the eyes? Over there. Got a bit of string there so it can hang up like that and the string looks really nice on there and actually i think it would be good to have a little bit of string wrapped around the mummy itself so take another little bit of string then he won't unwind then he won't unwind <laughs> that's true oh we've heard we've heard what happens if you don't fasten <laughs> fasten your toilet roll so i'm just going to move that other string out of the way so we've got a nice a slightly longer bit here and we're going to wrap it around. So first we're going to put it around just once and tie it. Do a double knot just to make sure that it doesn't come off. Wonderful. And now just I've done this other string afterwards, but let's just poke it in the head. That's okay. There we go. He yeah. mind. He's got no brains. Nice and neat. So, do you want to know an interesting fact about this year's Halloween? I, yes, obviously. Okay. Definitely. This year's Halloween, it says here, is the first Halloween in 19 years to have a full moon. And not only that, it's also a blue moon. A blue moon means that there were two full moons this month. What does it? Blue moon, <laughs> blue, 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 I saw you standing alone. Without a dream in my heart. Sorry, I'm, going, I'm, getting, I'm getting, carried, carried, getting carried away now. Full moon on Halloween, that's brilliant. I can definitely cast some wonderful spells during the full moon. So yes. we'll get up to some great things. So what I've just done is just I've just wound that string around and I just taped it inside the head again. Now, it's quite nice to just try and make sure the top of the head is a little bit covered like that. Just so there's a just cover up the, the potential brains. So fabulous, there is your Mummy Lou roll friend. Mm. And we will show you a picture of all the other Lou roll friends that we've made. But as we said before, get creative. It really doesn't matter if it goes wrong. You're just a Lou roll tube is something that, you know, it, it goes it gets thrown away all the time, so it's really good to experiment with them because there's no harm in it really is there no it's good for the environment to make decorations that we can reuse again and that's completely within the tea cat ethos you know reuse recycle tea cat create discover learn wonderful tea cat would definitely approve well i think it's high time that you made something louise aren't you <gasps> yay i get to make something yay. well so, we should probably tidy up though we should tidy up do you up. think you could do your magic trick again Absolutely. So I'm going to do some magic now and get rid of all of this and get ready for Louis. Why don't you go and have some water or some squash, have a little break, we've just done lots, and come back shortly and Louise is going to do some wonderful craft making. Yay! So let's go. Abracadabra! <laughs>
Abracadabra! Whoa! Whoa! That was a big one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a big tidy up. Well, we I thought we switched places. Switch around. This is the crafty area, and yeah. this is a booky area. So nice. Okay. Don't worry. So, hi, we're back again. I'm Louise and this is Esmeralda. Hi! Esmeralda's having a little look in the book of spells at the moment. Yes, I'm finding some intro. Oh, don't do that! Oh, oh, I, you'll find out what I'm reading about soon. <laughs> um, so, we're going to be making some masks out of paper plates that you could wear on Halloween. So, if you have a look here, we've got this lovely cat which I'm going to have a go at doing and I'm also going to have a go at doing this um, scary spooky monster which I've just popped some electric candles through the eyes to make them spooky Ooh, popping back down there okay. right so let's get started so what you're going to need is paper plate um, if you don't have a paper plate you can also use just any piece of cardboard get a plate a real plate from your cupboard pop it on the paper, draw around it, and then just cut it out. And then you've yep. basically got, got a paper plate. Easy peasy. Um, but if not, paper plate. Um, what else have we got? Just lots of different bits of crafty stuff. We've got some poster paints here, got some paint brushes, some water to clean your brushes in. That's very important. We've got a pen or pencil, could be good. A pencil and a rubber, and then you can alter bits if you don't like the, what you've drawn little bit of blue tack that's very important and i'll explain that later um awesome. and um yeah some elastic or string to uh stick it onto your face all right so first of all we're going to take our pen or our pencil and we're going to draw the design that we would like now i want you to think about um having where the eyes are going to go you're going to need holes to look through for the eyes this one's also got a hole for his mouth but we're going to do you're gonna do the cat first, just like me. <laughs> okay, so starting off, I'm gonna start off with the ears and I'm gonna think about where I want them and draw two points that come right up to the edge, to the edge of the plate there. And do a little spiky bit in between where the cat's head will be. And do another point for the second ear here. Now don't worry about being messy or getting pencil all over it because you're going to paint it and you can also, after you've cut it out, flip it over and then you won't see any of the lines. So don't worry about being messy with your lines. Alright, now once we've got our ears and the top of our head, we're going to put the fur around his face. That's just like zigzaggy fur going all the way around. That's looking lovely. Thank you. And we're going to put in, right in the middle of the plate, we're going to put a little triangle upside down, so the long side at the top. A little triangle right in the middle. Oh, that's a, that's the nose. It's the nose, yes, exactly. Little cat's nose. Um, and then coming up from the corners of the triangle, we're going to draw an arc. And the other side, there's going to be another arc. And that's like, sort of like the nose and the eyebrows. Right, okay. And then you draw another dip underneath those ones. One under there, one under there. And you've got the eyes. That's a great trick for, for drawing some kids' eyes, isn't it? Yeah. Now, coming down from the bottom of your triangle, you're going to go straight down, you're going to go up, what's sort of like a little U shape. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Up. Lovely. That's the mouth. A little mouth there. A nice smiley mouth there. And you do a little, little furry chin. And make sure you've joined up your fur at the bottom here. It's a very long haired cat, this one. This one's very fluffy, yeah. yeah. Very, you could do fluffy. one which was more, less fluff as well. If you, if you yeah, you could. Yeah. Right, so now that you've drawn your cat, now that you've drawn your cat, I'm going to use my scissors here to cut out. Now I'm just going to start by doing the edge, which should be relatively straightforward. But I'm going to cut in that way, and then I'm going to cut the other way. I'm going to cut in that way, and then I'm going to cut the other way. So and that way... While you're cutting that out, do you want to, do you want to hear some facts? Um, yeah, I'd love to hear some facts. What kind of facts have you got? First of all, I know quite a funny joke. 
right? I think right. you're gonna like it. Yeah. So, what is the worst thing about trick or treating with identical twin witches? I don't know. What is the worst thing about trick or treating with identical twin witches? You never know which witch is which. <gasps> oh. That's a bit of a tongue tweezer. Tongue, tongue teaser that. Not tongue tweezer. Tongue, tongue teaser. tweezy twister. Yeah. So that was a joke. Here's a nice fact as well. I read it in my old book here. Mm -hmm. trick, or, trick or treating has existed since medieval times. It's pretty old. Back then, it was known as guising Wait, in sorry. Scotland and Ireland. How old is med medieval times? How 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 old is that? A long time ago. A long, A long time, time ago. ago. Is it older than my mum is? Much older than your mum. Yes. Older than my mum. Can't imagine that. I really hope your mum isn't watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> so back in the med back in the medieval times, it was known as guising in Scotland and Ireland. Young people dressed up in costumes and asked for food or money in exchange for songs, poems or other tricks. Today, the tradition has morphed into children get to children getting dressed up and asking for candy. Mm. So actually there's a lot of similarities despite the fact that it's been many, many, many hundreds of years. Yeah. There's a lot of similarities between guising and trick or treating. Yeah. Well that's that's tradition, isn't it? Traditions uh, are these funny things that we do that stay the same for a really, really long time. We just carry on doing them every year. And sometimes they seem, a little, you know, they, they start to seem a little bit a little bit silly and weird. Like yeah. Getting dressed up and asking for candy. But it's fun, so why would you get rid of it, eh? Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's an fun. important time of year for us witches and cats, isn't it? We actually, it we is. can roam the streets freely. No one will question us being yeah. there. It's good. Yeah, it is a good time. We don't have to you know pretend pretend to be humans we can just prowl around with the rest of those fancy dress people i can get on my broomstick and fly around only time of year that i don't get pulled down by the police right yeah. so i'm done now cutting out the edges of my cat as you can see um and uh yeah the way that i've definitely thank you thank you esmeralda the way that i've um, definitely made that much easier for myself is by only cutting in that way and then in that way instead of trying to do and then turn a corner does that make sense if not just do it however you want to it's your mask next thing we're going to do this is a bit to pay attention to is we've got to cut the holes for the eyes now that can be quite tricky can't it making a hole in something so I've got a smart trick for you. What we're going to do is we're going to get our piece of blue tack, we're going to stick it down on the eye here, and then we turn it over so that the other side is showing, find where that blue tack is, and use a pen or a pencil or something like that to make a hole through into the blue tack. And that'll mean that you can make really nice safe holes like that. Mm. Now we are going to make those holes bigger, so don't worry if you think, but my eyes are bigger than that. It's fine. Right, in we go. We got our two little holes there. Lovely. And now, looking at the side where we've got our lines here, we're going to use our scissors and we're going to go in through that hole. In there. We're going to cut lots of little lines. So I cut a line through there going up to the going up to the um, the the lines that we've drawn. And just by cutting those little bits, it's going to make it easier to cut around the edges. I suppose you've got any more jokes for us, have you? Oh yes, of course I do. Excellent. Well, actually, this isn't a joke. This is another very interesting fact. So, as we all know, we love to decorate a pumpkin nowadays, don't we? We decorate a pumpkin at Halloween. Yeah. But the back in the day, people used to carve out turnips, potatoes, and beetroots, not pumpkins at all. Which seems a little bit odd to us now. So, jack-o'-lanterns, that's what we now call the pumpkin, originated, originated in Ireland. Once Halloween became popular in America, people started using pumpkins instead because pumpkins grow in America. So, yeah, if you ever don't have a pumpkin, you go to the shops, there's none left, just get a turnip. 
A turnip or a potato, a big potato. A potato or a beetroot. Maybe you could have a go at carving a potato at home. Yeah, why not? Why not? Right, so I'm nearly done. I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye here. Cutting out that hole. As you can see, I've got this nice hole cut out there already. Um, actually, I've got a joke about pumpkins. Do you want to hear it? I'd love to hear a joke about pumpkins. Okay, what do you call a pumpkin that you've dropped? Uh, I don't know. What do you call a pumpkin that you've dropped? I think you nearly had it there. It's squash. It's a squash. It's a squash. That's because a pumpkin's a kind of squash. It, yeah, it like makes a butternut it's squash. It's funny and it makes sense. Yeah. That's, that's a brilliant joke. Funny and educational. That's my favourite kind of jokes. Right, so. I think Tea Cat would really like this mask because it looks exactly like him. Yeah. And that's that's uh, Tea Cat's very proud of what he looks like. We all should be proud of what we look like, shouldn't we? Yeah. Not just Tea Cat. Yeah. I mean, that's a good. I certainly would enjoy what I looked like a little bit more if I was ginger and fluffy. But yeah. you know, we can't all get what we want, and I'm I'm pretty happy with my my blonde plaits. So. I would really like to have a, a fluffy belly. A you know, fluffy, a fluffy belly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I am quite fluffy because I'm a cat. But you know, some cats have those especially fluffy bellies. I think. Um, How about having a tail as well? A nice fluffy tail. That would be cool. I've got a tail. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, it's not quite as fluffy as Tika. Yes. It definitely isn't as fluffy, and it definitely isn't as. Well, long maybe either. maybe you'll grow some more hair at some point. I think I will. The older I get, the fluffier I'll become. I think. Right. So we have our mask. We've cut out the eyes here. Now, you can either choose to turn it over onto the side without any pen drawing on it, or you can keep the pen side, you know, because then you can see where your nose is. I think I'm going to keep the pen side because I'm going to paint over some of my scruffier lines anyway. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to paint it. So, you can paint this cat however you like. You don't have to do a black cat. I'm going to do a black cat because I'm a black cat. Yes. And I and I want to do one that looks just like me so that other people can look like me too. Mm. And well, also black cats are very uh, important to the Halloween story and mythology because unfortunately black cats are known for being somewhat unlucky, aren't they? Yeah. Although we don't really think so. We think that black cats are really cool. I actually think it's very lucky to have a black cat. So if you have a black cat, then um, count yourself lucky. Definitely. <laughs> if you have any cat at all. We like cats a lot here. That's why we're best friends with Tea Cat. Yeah. Yeah, Tea Cat's a really good friend to have. Um, he goes on lots of adventures. I think, I think all cats are quite adventurous, aren't they? Um, that's yeah. what I like about them. Well, so I don't know. I've got a cat. One of my one of my many cats just sits around all day and really? eats cream. Yeah, you get cats like that sometimes. Can I just ask you a question? Sounds like a good life. Can, can I just ask you a question? Just yes. a quick question. Yes. On which day are ghosts most scary? Mm, Halloween. Fright day. Ah. Oh. Oh my god! It wasn't really a question; it was a joke. But I you got me there. I tricked you, trick or treat. You, you tricked me. You tricked me. Um, can I have a, a treat next? A treat? Yeah. Um, okay. Let me see if I can find something here. So, one thing to consider is when you're painting your Mars: is are there any bits that you don't want to be black? Because if there is, then you should make sure you leave those spaces white because it can be really tricky to paint over black. So I'm just going to leave the nose um, and then I'm going to colour that in with a pink pen, I think. That's, that's a very clever idea. Yeah, just like my example one that I made earlier. Oh, I think there's something here. I just The writing's so small, I need to... I wish I maybe I should buy a real glasses. fine print. Ah, oh, here we go. What about this book? The fastest pumpkin carving lasted 16 
0.47 seconds. Wow. We don't recommend doing this at home, kids. That's that's a very fast pumpkin carver. That's someone who knows their stuff. Practiced a lot. And apparently that is Stephen Clark holds that on her. The jack-o'-lantern, the pumpkin, had to contain a complete face, including eyes, nose, mouth and ears. And he did it in 16.47 seconds. Wow. So if anyone you know thinks that they're the fastest pumpkin carver, you can tell them that fact. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to use um, Esmeralda's magical frying wand. Um, oh. Although at home, you know, you could also, if you wanted to take a little pause, have a drink, something like that, leave it to dry, come back to it, that would also be fine. Or carve a pumpkin. Carve a pumpkin. Well, apparently it doesn't take that long. Or carve a potato. Right, okay. Give it a bit. I'm just holding I'm just holding it down in the nose, which is the bit that doesn't have any paint on, so it doesn't fly away. Right, I think that's just about dry now. Um, I'm just going to pop the nose on. You could also put the nose, what else could you use? You could use a little pink pom-pom. Mm. That would be really cute. Or you could use- You could cut it out of pink or red card and yeah. stick it on. In fact, I think I can see some pink paper over here. So perhaps I'll use that. Here's one we prepared earlier. I've just found this one already cut out, which is really handy. So actually, I'm gonna cut it a little bit more triangular. It might be good even to look at a picture of a cat, um, or look at your cat if you've got one at home, and look at the sort of shape that the nose is. You could make it with whatever sort of shape you want. I'm gonna cut this one out like this. Can I just ask you a question? Yes. Is this a real question this time? Yeah. Where does the witch's frog sit? Oh, I think I know this one. Um, does it sit on a lily pad? No, good guess. But it actually sits on a toadstool! <laughs> Get it? Toadstool sitting on a stool? Yeah. Yes, it wasn't a question again. I tricked you again. You, you're such a trickster. Right, do we, have, um, do we have a bit of glue or some tape or maybe maybe um, maybe a Pritt stick? That would be quite good, wouldn't it? I think How about our magic one for you? That would be sit great. Sit down, sit down, no need. Alakazam! Whoa! That's what I'm joking, do. That's so impressive. It's really handy um, hanging out with a witch. The girl's going to need to undo the top. There we go. Pop a bit of glue on your nose, just a little bit, because if you put too much, it will squeege out the sides, won't it? There we go. Right, and then I'm going to stick that onto there. Right, the next bit that we're going to do is we're going to put on the whiskers. I'm going to use these lovely black pipe cleaners here. Okay, right, so first of all, we're going to have to make some holes to put the whiskers through. Now you can see, like, I've got these little dots on my face here. So that's where whiskers go, just next to the mouth, just above the mouth. So in those U shapes that you created here, I'm going to make a couple of holes. And we're going to do that in the same way that we made the holes for the eyes. So if you put the blue tap where you want the hole to be, we're going to do two holes on each side, um, one at the top, one at the bottom, like that. So if we put the, start doing the top one first, make a little hole, and move it down, a bit of blue tack, make another little hole there. <laughs> Can I share with you a joke I've just found while you do that? Yes! Why didn't the skeleton jump off the roof? He didn't have the guts! <gasps> oh! He his bones! I 
I mean, I'm glad he didn't jump off the roof. I'm glad he didn't jump off the roof too. He might have, he might have hit goodness. his funny bone. Um, but it which might have. isn't very funny, it normally He definitely hurts. would have hit at least one of his bones. <laughs> yeah. But no guts, because he doesn't have any. No guts. No guts. <gasps> I've got a joke. Okay. Um, why did the ghost go into the bar? I don't know, why did the ghost go into the bar? For the booze! You know, like, boo! Ah! Booze! Which is what they call drinks in the bar. Apparently, booze. People, who, people who drink drinks in the bar call it booze. Yeah. Who'd have known? It's a funny coincidence, isn't it? Right, so now we've got our two holes on each side of the mouth. So two holes here, two holes here. And we're going to just thread the pipe cleaner from the back towards the front of your mask. And then we're going to get the other end of the pipe cleaner and we're going to thread it through the other hole towards the front. So it should be looped now. Let me pull those through. It will be looped at the back. Can you see there? I've looped it through. And then you've got your whiskers. Right, and then we'll just do the other one. Have you got any more? Any more oh, oh yeah, well, let me just, I've read everything on this page. Oh, that's, oh, 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 I'm sure I'll find one here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Why are vampires so unpopular? I don't know. Because they're a pain in the neck. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. Right. Have you ever met a vampire? Um, I think I met one last year, actually. Can you confirm? Are they a pain in the neck? I didn't find her a pain in the neck, but um, I didn't I didn't spend a lot of time with her, I must admit. I was quite busy. You know, it was more of a passing... Um, wasn't trying to bite you. No, no, she wasn't trying to bite me. Actually, she must have. She must have had some 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 other some other biting blood recently and not been hungry. Yeah. So that's what they drink, isn't it? Yeah, they drink blood. I'm quite scared of vampires. Sometimes though, um, vampires are nice, aren't they? Sometimes you get nice vampires. <laughs> yeah, you got Mona the vampire. Who else? Oh, I, I used to really like watching Mona the vampire when I was a little kitten. Yeah. Oh, well, she's a nice vampire at least. If they're all like Mona, then maybe they're not pains in the neck. Yeah. Mona the vampire. Mona the vampire. Yeah. What are you doing there? Oh, I'm just um, I'm just twisting up the whiskers a little bit to make them look a sort of fun shape. Or you could do this. You could make them curly, or you could make them zigzaggy. As if someone's just stepped on stepped on the cat's tail. Oh, that's what happens to my whiskers when um, someone steps on my tail. Suddenly, very shocked. It must be. It must happen to Tea Cat a lot, actually, because he's got such a long tail. Right, so I'm just twisting that up there. You can play around with these whiskers as much as you like, really. And once you're happy, um, I, for instance, have made the bottom whiskers a little bit longer than the top whiskers. Just because that's what I wanted to do, really. Mm. That's how I thought my cat would look. Right, and once you're happy with your whiskers and you've got them in place, what you're going to do is you're going to look at the back here where you've looped it through. Just going to pop a little bit of tape over there just to make sure that they don't shift around. So, have we got a tape? Maybe you might need to magic me one again. Bring me the tape! Hey! hey! There we go! Hey! Amazing! Thank you so much, Esmeralda. It's what I do. It's so handy to have a witch ring. Right, right and then so you're handy. just going to cut. Could you hold the bottom of the tape? Thank you. Cut yourself a little piece like that. And then you're going to stick it over the back of your pipe cleaner, on the back of your mask. So on the back there, like that. And then, you've got it nice. Now, it feels like it's missing something. That's not going to stay on your face, is it? It's not. What should we do about it? So I think you need to put some elastic or string around it. That's a really good idea. Okay, so first of all, we need to make a couple of holes. Now, you want the holes to be even so that it sits straight on your face. So I would suggest perhaps doing the holes next to the eyes. Something like that. That's a good place to put the holes. So there are two ways that you can do these holes. Um, the first way is to do it the same way that we did with some blue tack and a pen. Yeah. Or what about using a hole punch? That's a really good idea. Yeah. Because do you then wanna... the hole's a little bit bigger. It's easier to tie it. Do you want to try and magic it? Yeah. Got to be. Got to be, be very careful. I promise I'll be really careful. Don't 
turn me into a frog. It's happened before and I didn't like it, it was slimy. Okay. Promise? I promise. Okay, I trust you. Thank you. Okay. Um, it did work. Is there a magic word that I need to say? Um, well, can you think of one? Okay, what am I trying to magic? I'm trying to magic a hole punch. Holio punches! Yes! Well done! Right, you're too good at that. I'm taking that away. Okay. I'm right. the only witch in town here. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, um, now that I've got my whiskers in place, we're doing the holes. So, I'm just going to work out where I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to have a look at my hole punch. Try and get this in there. You want to make sure that the hole punch is properly onto the edge of your mask because otherwise you'll have the hole coming out the edge of your mask. So you can check underneath like this. Is it if you're not sure, you could get an adult possibly to help you with this. Or someone with previous experience of using a hole punch. Yeah. I'm sure there is a hole punch expert somewhere near you. Is that about the same height? What do you think? Yeah, that looks those good. Even? And the edges of the eyes. There we go. Now I've done those two holes there. Holy moly, she's done it. <laughs> I've done it. Can I just ask you, what game do young ghosts love? Uh, foot goal. That's really good already. <laughs> I thought like you need a round of applause. I was going to say, hide and shriek. Hide and shriek. Ah. Oh. It's a good one. Right, where you like it. Where's the we elastic? Like it should have been possibly more correct. We're gonna have to have some more magic, aren't we? More magic? Well, there's never too much magic. That's true, I do like a lot of magic. Uh right, what shall we say for this one? Um, hmm. What about Elastic Cool or Elastic Should we do it together? Okay, yeah, Eight yeah. Wait, should we do one, two, three? One, two, three. Elastic goo, elastic K. <gasps> yes. Yeah. You're such a good little cat witch in training. Oh, here's one that somebody's prepared earlier. Fantastic. This one's very long, as you can see. If you pull the other end of that, look how long it is. I think this would be for a giant's head. A gi yeah, that's far too head. long. You could make it into a bow and arrow. Yes. <laughs> but we are, in fact, Making a mask, so let's Making cut a mask. for a okay. human sized head. So maybe you'd want to test it on your head, see how big, see how big you want it to come to here. So we could give you a haircut one. No, no, don't cut my fur. Okay, right now you've measured the amount that you need. Cut that bit there. Don't worry if you get it wrong because you can just do it again. So you're gonna thread that through the hole tie a little knot so you cross over and then you go under and then I'm going to do a double knot to make sure it's really secure so cross over put it through there and pull and then we're going to do it this side so I'm going to go from the front to the back this side yep. and then cross the two pieces over loop it through the hole pull it tight and then make a hole, cross those pieces over, put, loop it through the hole and pull it tight. And then you should have them tied on. If it takes you a couple of turns at trying to do those knots, then that's fine. Although some of you might be experts doing it the first time. Shall I try it on? Try it on, yeah. And then I'll be a cat in disguise as a cat. You'll be a cat in the cat? Cat in the cat. Ooh. It fits. I think it might be a bit better. No, I think this is a good look for you. Yeah. Just keep it on. It's good. Wonderful. <laughs> you could also try doing other kinds of masks. For instance, this scary monster here. <laughs> which I've cut some eyes and mouth holes out. So, you'll need um, the same things as you needed for the other masks. You'll need some scissors, a hole punch, some elastic. You're going to, you could use some glue if you wanted to stick anything on. You could use some googly eyes if you wanted um, a monster with lots of eyes, paint brushes and some clean water and some paints and most importantly, a bit of paper for the table so that you don't get the table too messy. Ah, you'll also need, forget. 
a the pen. pen or pencil and a little bit of blue tack right okay so to start off you're going to need a plate if you don't have a plate at home you could also use um, a piece of paper that you've drawn around piece of card or paper that you use a real plate yeah. pop it on there and just use it as a stencil and go around it like that and then cut it out yeah excellent but we've got a plate here today so what i'd like you to do first is um draw your design draw your monster on the plate remember to leave spaces for the eyes and for a nice mouth hole on this one that's the good thing about the monsters you can have a nice open mouth put some big ears on i love those big teeth that you've added in there all the better for gobbling up naughty cats <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> okay, right. Now, once you've drawn that, here's one that I've started off earlier. You can start to cut out the edges as we did on our other plate. So, we're just going to cut in this way, in that way, and do the whole of the top here. Well, shall I tell you some more jokes? I'd love to hear some more jokes. Hmm, let me find one about mummies. Actually, this one about, this one's good. Okay, what kind of witch smells delicious? I don't know, what kind of witch smells delicious? A sandwich. Oh. A sandwich! <laughs> but you smell nice as well. Thank you. What kind of witch are you, Esmeralda? The best witch. It's, true. it's not a kind, it's just a, a state of mind, a state of being. Right, lovely. Now that you've cut it out, you're going to do the same thing that you did with the eyes. Blue tack on the eye and punch a hole. Blue tack on the other eye. Punch a hole, just as you did with the other one. And you can cut out, cut out the eyes and the mouth, as you can see in my close-up demonstration. And then for the edges, you can just cut in completely randomly like this. And that will make it like, um, like hair. Like, like natural hair. hair, yeah. Like a fluffy sort of thing. Well, maybe things. there are lots of, maybe there are loads of little legs. Oh, like, like a, a leggy centipede, monster. a leg, leggy centipede monster. Like a spider with lots of legs, scary stuff. Right, so you can really just go hell for leather on that. Paint your monster any colour you like. I've chosen pale green because it's the colour of slimy bogies. Yuck! One fun thing about monsters is that they can be any colour. Make sure you cover all the white bits, unless you want them to be white of course. Orange is a great contrast to the green monster. Why not paint around the eyes as well? 
to make them stand out and be even more scary. I am painting some spots around the eyes too. I think my monster needs a big mouth, perfect for gobbling up people, so I am going to paint that orange as well. Our monster needs to be able to smell, so I need to paint on some nostrils. Now is the time to make the beard and fur more colourful if you want to. I am doing this by painting some blue stripes onto the mask, but you can choose whatever colour you want. There we go, our monster has been painted. Now we just need to attach the elastic or string. Do this in the same way as the cat mask.
you've got it to this stage, the final thing is to make those little, little fluffy, furry, leggy bits at the edge. We want to make those look really fluffy. So I think give them a bit of a scrunch up. You could just, you could twist them, sort of have them looking, roll them up a little some bit. Some of them forward, some of them back. Yeah. Make them look really furry and fluffy. All the monsters I've ever met have been very messy, so this works. Yeah. Great, right, and maybe even curl their hair a little bit at the top there. And then we've got this sort of 3D effect. Right, I think we're finished. Well, the last thing to do is to try it on. Shall I try this one on? Yeah. Let's take off the hat. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. You've got your <laughs> nose, nose in, in the, the mouth. mouth. Wait, let's put my hat back on. It's a monster witch with my hat on, isn't it? Ah! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that gave scary. me a real fright, Esmeralda. Oh, well, I'd say I'm sorry, but it's Halloween. That's what it's all about. This might be a really good one to scare your parents. Yeah. So, um, yeah, make your masks, pop them on, sneak around the house just as it's getting dark. It's a good idea, isn't it? Right, so, thank you for watching our tutorial today on our masks. Now, you could also at home get creative and make different kinds of masks. You could very creatively make a pumpkin mask and put it on a pumpkin. Yes, I like that idea a lot. Yes, it's a pumpkin and a pumpkin. And this one is just painted all orange. And then we've got some, some lines going down just to show you off the, the curvy bits of the pumpkin. And then we've got a little green stalk at the top but you can get really creative with this we've done a little uh a teacup style mask here as well and you can see we've added some fluffy bits here we just used some of our spare cobwebs but you could use a little bit of material maybe you have fluffy material cotton at wool, home maybe cotton wool that's a good idea yeah so there's absolutely loads of ways that you can make lots of interesting masks yeah um lovely wonderful well i think that it's probably time for us to get back on my broomstick and go home don't you think i've got a joke about that okay let's have one more joke why do angry witches angry um, not ride their broomsticks i don't know why do angry witches not ride their broomsticks because they're scared they'll fly off the handle <laughs> I think you're getting the bus home. <laughs> no! I'm joking. Okay. Thank you so much for coming and doing lots of creative things with us today. Tea Cat is really happy that we've all been here doing Halloween things. Yeah, and actually Tea Cat would love to see some of your work. So if you um, create a lovely mask or a lovely tissue um, Lou roll friend, Lou roll friend um, or if you even create anything else, some of your own inventions perhaps, and we'd love it if you could send in some pictures and we might even be able to pop those on the website. Famous. Yeah. Where should they send them to? Um, so if you go onto the website, which is tcat, which is T-I-I-K-A-T dot com, um, then you can upload files and um, send messages. Maybe you've got a message for TCAT. Maybe you've got a good Halloween joke that you could um, send us through the website in the Contact Us section. Maybe they're slightly better than ours. Maybe. We'd love, <laughs> we'd love to hear some of your better jokes. So get in touch and whatever you do, make sure you have a very happy Halloween. And a spooky one. Bye. Bye. Lovely, all right. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>